Hi there. Hey, Welcome Rose. To, yeah, hi. How are you, Kim? It's Welcome great to, to another you. episode of Casting Notes from Rose and Kim. That's Kim Swanson. She's a casting director in Los Angeles. I'm Rose Rosen. I'm a casting director in Florida. Welcome. Hi. How are Hi, you? How's your weekend? Busy, busy, good. busy, crazy. Yeah, no, it's good things. Good things. Very All good the things. things. Award yeah. season, busy with work, crazy right. clubhouse. And you know, friends. it's, I'll tell you what, it's so busy. People don't, I don't think, realize how much time we have to put into reviewing all of these self tapes. It's incredibly <laughs> time consuming, right? It's, it's crazy. crazy. And, and it's, it's so infuriating because, you know, once those self tapes are in, we can't make adjustments. We can't tell actors, um, Hey, by the way, you know, zip your fly or, you know, <laughs> or, no, not that sort of thing. I do on, sometimes you know? make an acting adjustment and have them resend if it, if it's really good, but it's, right, right. yeah, it's not everyone. I wish their flies right. would always be zipped. And right? their shoes would always be on. I know that's a big always. thing for <laughs> some darn shoes on. It's just so casual. So it's crazy. But, but we yeah. have a cool guest today mm -hmm. that might help these actors with that in particular. It's I think Kathy so. Ferrara. Oh my goodness. Can you come out and join us? Oh, Hi. Hey, Hi. Hello, my friends. It's so good to see you. It's nice to see you. How have you been? Terrific. Couldn't be better. Oh, all is well you. over here, fully vaccinated. I get to see all my people. Uh, work has been great. So it's all good here in St. Louis. Thank you. Great. Goodness. Great. Now that's well, good. So Rose and I have both known Kathy for years, my you know. Goodness. Yes. Um, wonderful stylist, terrific actress, um, mm -hmm. just multifaceted. We have so much to talk about with her, but I would love Kathy for you to speak to the stylist side of your, yourself with these actors and because they are self taping. And I think, you know, you get so caught up and I'm sure you've had to do some of that as an actress as well. So sure. you get so bogged down with, you know, you know, pre prepping with memorization of your lines and your setup of your lights and your camera and all the things. And then actors forget about this, the, the package. Yeah. Right? Yes, right. Exactly. Yeah. And so much right now because it's different, right? So for a year we've been at home and we don't have those professional visual cues that we had when we would go to a casting office for an audition. So now we're in at, at home, we're, you know, in our bedroom, we're in our living room, wherever we are. And sometimes I think we forget about being and looking professional. And that is our clothes, what we wear, how we wear our clothes, you know, tucked in, buttoned up, zipped up. Um, and, you know, our makeup, our makeup and hair, you know, it's, it's been so casual. Everybody's in sweats no one's wearing a bra and you know we have to just remember now that there is a professional life out there and that's what we need to present even when it is you know because i feel like there's so many um auditions that are more lifestyle-y you know um you know mom casual whatever it is but that doesn't mean not professional that doesn't mean not polished so you know if you're wearing a casual blouse, make sure it's ironed, um, make sure it's buttoned up, make sure it's either tucked in or styled the way that you know you really want to present yourself. And um, as far as hair and makeup, the same thing. You know, makeup, I feel like one of the most important things um, that we need to concentrate on for makeup for auditions is to look like the best version of ourselves. And makeup wise, I think what that means is a lot of blending. Like you don't want any harsh lines. You don't want fake eyelashes. You don't want hard eyeliner. Um, you want everything very natural. I think that all actors, you know, ha have a good handle on how to do natural makeup, but for auditions- so sure. Well, yeah, okay. I, I would not, I would not necessarily <laughs> okay, maybe not. That. Yeah, yeah. If not, there are many YouTube tutorials out there. Yeah. But what it is, is when you look at yourself in the mirror, 
that you look like the best version of yourself. You look at yourself and you don't say, ooh, that's nice eyeshadow, or I love that lip color. That's not what's standing out. What's standing out is, oh, your eyes look great, or the shape of your face looks great. It's more about you and not the makeup. You don't want the makeup to draw any attention. So you want to be matte, of course. I think we know we don't want to be shiny on camera. Let's um, explain what matte is for those don't, who don't right. understand that, please. Sure. So in our everyday life, you know, it's fun to have, you know, a little highlighter on and, you know, some highlighter here and there. But for video, it's very important um, that there is no shimmer on your face. So you want it to be fully matte. So any makeup you buy, and you can absolutely go to the drugstore and find matte makeup powder yeah. and eyeshadow. It used to be um, a high-end thing that you'd have to find, but now it's very easy. Yeah, It right. is, Rose. It's very easy to find. So it's not difficult. Just want to make sure there's no shimmer, no shimmer on your cheeks, no shimmer on your eyelids for print and video. Now, if you're doing some high fashion thing, that's a whole nother story, but that's not what we're talking about. Yeah. There's a lot of um, like subconscious things that go on with people. There's been a lot of articles written about this, that when you're shiny, if you have any kind of shiny, whether you are sweating or whether you have shimmer on your face that looks like shiny, people don't trust you. It's so interesting. Oh, it's this a liminal thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they think that you're nervous about something and not being authentic. So as for, for an actor, that is a really important piece to be authentic. That's what, of course, the main job is that you're trying to be is be authentic in whatever it is that you're doing. Yes. So having a matte face matte matte makeup on is really important the other thing i just want to touch on fascinating is um is hair you know that whatever it is whatever your style is whether it's curly whether it's straight whatever it is really check out your flyaways that's another very sort of subconscious thing good job rose good job <laughs> I mean, seriously, I think I have it right here. I keep like <laughs> hairspray right here whenever I'm on camera doing anything, Zoom, whatever it is. You want to just be sure you're as, I mean, obviously I'm not getting it all perfect, but not perfect. I'm not talking about perfect, but if you've got like some flyaways, they're distracting. It's just distracting. And depending on your lighting, sometimes you can get away with it, but check it out. So check out that your face is matte that your flyaways are down. And really all that takes is like a little spray on your hand and just like touch those flyaways down. That's so all like, this is not about me, but like is something like, wait, I, can't, I can never do these things right because backwards. That that one hair, that's okay, or it's it or that's a flyaway. Just no, that is not a flyaway. Yeah. That is okay. That's more of a style choice, <laughs> you know. And that looks casual. You look very casual and very approachable right now. It's more like the little hairs, little frizzy like hairs things that are sticking out. And Rose, I don't really see too many flyaways on you. So like, it's not an issue, but some people, it is an issue. Like it's just depending on your hair type. But that's you know, a great trick with the hairspray. Yeah, put it right on your hand and just kind of, just gently go down and that'll catch things that, mm -hmm. You aren't even to your eye catching, but the light, as we all know, the light in the camera picks up things that sometimes to our eye, we don't see. Is there something about a warm or a cool light that might might help their makeup, their look, their authentic look? Do you know? Um, I don't really know. I'm I, not a lighting expert, so, let's face it. Yeah, I'm not a lighting expert. <laughs> I, just, I adjust actually like in my office space when I'm on camera. I adjust depending on the, because I have a window at the time of day it is, yeah. maybe what I'm wearing. So I've got a little um, control that will give me on my ring light, like a cooler or a warmer light. So, so that adjusts, you know, <laughs> depending on what's happening. So I can't quite speak to that, but, you know, lighting, 
I can speak to, which is so important, so important. Whether you have a ring light or not with a stand, um, they're so reasonable now on Amazon. I, I mean, I right. feel like anybody could invest in that. But right. if not, if not, you know, to stand in front of a window, exactly, yeah. exactly. This is to like $7 and right. it clips right. right. Yes. Yeah. And another another good tip, I don't, I, it's not in this room with me, but um, there are these suction cup holders that you can suction onto your window to hold your phone. So you are directly facing your window. And that is such an awesome tool. No, oh, that's I'm neat. Yeah. Everywhere now. So I keep that thing in my purse with me. I keep my gorilla and my suction cup phone okay. holder with me everywhere because Sometimes I'm talking and videoing in the car and I'll suction it onto my windshield. So if you don't want to invest in a ring light, that's a really great option. And I literally, I think it's like $9 on Amazon. Wow. It's a suction cup, you know, holder you for your phone. You send me that link. We can yeah, I will. That thing here. And I love, I love that you brought up about the mat to backtrack a little bit, because like, I noticed like, I don't have any base makeup on right now. And then, but but lighting and on camera, you look different than you do in person. So I see the redness of that layer, you know, sure. I should have bothered to put some makeup on this morning, let me be honest, but, but, um, but you can see a difference. And if I was auditioning for a job right now, yeah. it wouldn't look, you know, like I would want it to look. And there's a reason why when you go on set, the makeup artist always has you put on base, right? Yes. Whether you're a guy or there's a reason for that. Yeah. So, so pay attention to what happens when you go do something professionally and try to mimic that to the best of your ability at home. A hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. So it's really about um, the foundation is is more about evening out the skin tone, like you were just mentioning, and then the powder um, is what will mat you down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Right. I think that's a great, great tip. I love these tips. Good. When I think about too much powder for those who are aging, I've seen right. that a little bit, or is there too much or should they use powder at all? Please discuss. Well, again, in person for everyday life, I would say go super light on the powder for those of us who are creeping up. Um, but on camera, no, I, I, you know, I, if, if it looks cakey, of course, that's a whole nother situation. I mean, you don't want to look cakey, but, and, and if you feel like your skin is, takes that too much, and that's a whole nother conversation that we can quickly touch on is that makeup will go on so differently if you really think about your skincare. And the two mm -hmm. most important things in skincare, you can, I can name 50 things that I love and I think are important, but the two most important things in skincare for makeup is exfoliating and moisturizing. So you definitely want to have some kind of exfoliating happening in your life twice a week and a heavy moisturizer at night, a light one with SPF during the day. And then your makeup won't catch. And, you know, um, because when you have dead skin and, you know, skin that isn't exfoliated, makeup catches on it. You can't blend it. It looks cakey. It, it's a whole, you know, different thing than when you are exfoliated and moisturized. And of course, we know we got to really hydrate. But yeah. Yeah. wait, so do you like, I have so many questions because I'm a, so I bring I'm them off. you know, I'm a makeup junkie, but uh -huh. do you like um, exfoliating with like a beaded thing that you do in the shower or do you prefer a mask or do you have products that you like? What do you like? So what I definitely don't like are the beads that are large. Those are the, the ones that tear up your skin. I don't want to like throw any products under the bus, but there was a product like apricot something. Do you remember? Oh, yeah. It was one of the first exfoliating things on the market when yeah. those beads were so big that it didn't do what it needed to do. Right. Let me tell you a really great tip there. And you guys are not going to believe this, but it's amazing. There is a product at Trader Joe's. There they have an exfoliating product in a tube. 
it's I think it's just Trader Joe's exfoliating. It's unbelievable. Wow. In yeah. fact, um, I, my daughter, Alex, who you both know, I think you've talked to, um, she, I kept telling her about it and she is all about goop products, which I love too. And they're a fortune though. Right. And I said to her, you gotta just try this, try this, what, just try it for me. She couldn't believe it. She said, it's as good as this $150 exfoliating right. product. It is. So anyway, that's a really good tip. Try that one for sure. I love it. So there's two ways you can do it. You can get exfoliating pads um, to use, which are great. And are, and are, you know, you, you want to be sure that you're letting the pad do the work. You don't want to apply a bunch of pressure and, you know, and hurt your skin. So you have to be gentle. And also there is the, um, like the Trader Joe's one, you just put a little dollop on your hand and then, you know, gently and work in those areas, you know, that are the problem areas, but yeah. Brilliant. I love these <laughs> tips. I could, I could and, talk for and, hours. <laughs> talk about someone who knows products. I know. Kathy, you actually have your own product line that I am dying to try. Yes, thank about you. I hope you do. So three and a half years ago, I started a line of nail polish. It is called, in fact, doo -doo, it is called um, K Ferrara Color. And what makes this nail polish different is that it is a 10 free formula, which means it's free of the 10 most harmful chemicals that are in most polish brands. Um, so it does no harm. Um, you know, I just believe that we should not be sacrificing health for beauty. Um, and, and people are getting really like they are gearing into this too. I, you know, clean beauty is the rage. Thank mm -hmm. goodness. So there's all kinds of clean beauty lines and I'm just thrilled with this product. So I've been a stylist in this industry um, for uh, a lot of years. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, and so color is really important to me. And, and I've been like weirdly obsessed with nail polish my whole entire life. So I really wanted to bring a product to market that, um, that women could count on. You can count on my line for really good, sophisticated, um, no fail color, as well as it doing no harm. Um, it's non-toxic. In fact, when I brought it to market about a year later, I, I was getting all these notes from customers saying, you know, I love this product, but there's not really any colors for my children. And I would love for my children to wear mm -hmm. this this polish also. So I started a kids line. So we also have a K for our color kids line that has been really yes. successful and so much fun. And you can so, use those colors as an adult too. <laughs> yes, yes. It's so funny. I just actually posted on my story right now. Um, a girl loves the, the, this, um, this really wonderful actress in New York City. She loves the kids line and she always like posts and sends me pictures of, you know, her nails with the kids line on. And for you guys and for all of your uh, followers and listeners, we have a promo code for you, Rose and Kim 20. So that's the promo code, hey. Rose and Kim 20. Kim, we um, made it. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like Oprah and you get a discount and you get a discount and you get a discount. <laughs> this is our moment. So you'll get, uh, yes, 20% off. Hold on, sorry guys. I forgot to plug in. 20% uh, off uh, anything on the line. We're gonna make Love that a that. hashtag. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That's amazing. You. That's so exciting. It's our first promo code. Hey, I'm so happy to be your first promo code. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh my God. This was such a delight. Thank you. Come back and see us again. I would love to. You are so happy. Happy. Oh, thank you thank for having you. me. I really appreciate it. Appreciate like your time, my friend. <laughs> yep. Yep. No, thank you. And don't forget to like and subscribe to, uh, to, to, so you can see all of these videos. Anyway, right. thanks and hit so that much. Notification bell. Yes. <laughs>